coming up. Don't worry if you can't measure up to a Chippendale. Well, maybe you do. We'll see. It's nearly quarter to seven. Time to get the travel, weather and news in your part of the country. Hello, I'm Paul Green. These are the early morning headlines in London today. A keep fit teacher who claimed she'd been abducted is due in court today, accused of wasting police time. Joanna Grenside vanished for 36 hours last December. She had failed to turn up to teach a fitness class at a leisure centre in Harpenden. Her disappearance sparked a major police hunt. She's due to appear before St Albans magistrates. A new group will be launched in London later today aimed at improving road safety. The organisation Road Peace also plan to offer support to the families of road accident victims. Meanwhile, a group of families who've lost relatives due to careless driving are calling for a change in the law. They'll be marching on Downing Street tomorrow to demand that motorists who kill through careless driving face an automatic ban. Prostitutes' rights campaigner Lindy Sinclair is due to arrive back in Southampton today after her trip on the luxury cruise of the Canberra. Miss Sinclair is likely to be interviewed by Sussex Police, who launched a massive search for her in January. The hunt for Miss Sinclair began after her hire car was found abandoned at Beachy Head in East Sussex, a notorious suicide spot. Now for all the latest travel news in and around London, here's Fiona Fowle at Scotland Yard. Good morning. Well, it's still relatively quiet if you're headed into central London. In fact, there are no major problems reported either on the outskirts of London. It seems fairly quiet so far. Looking at the monitors, there you are. You can see Camden High Street, barely a car in sight there. No problems if you're heading towards Vauxhall Cross and then across Vauxhall Bridge. That's all clear. Also, Blackfriars Bridge is behaving itself at the moment. Let's see if I can make it a little bit brighter for you. There you are. And if you're coming onto the A4 Talgarth Road, that's also running well at the moment. Go along to the next junction, Earls Court Road, that's also pretty quiet. The traffic lights still playing up on Gloucester Road at the junction of the A4 Cromwell Road, so that may cause some problems once traffic does build up. Also, uh, looking at Swiss Cottage, heading towards the, uh, a that's the A41 Finchley Road, that's all looking relatively good at the moment as well. And on the motorways, the M25, anti-clockwise traffic starting to build up into the roadworks between junctions 16 and 15. There are no major problems reported on the trains this morning or the underground. On the buses, the industrial dispute continues at Shepherd's Bush, so Route 9 is not running, and there's a reduced service on 94 and 220 call. Thanks, Fiona. Weather-wise, it'll be cloudy this morning with some heavy rain early on. In fact, it's already raining. Later on, the rain should ease, and many places will have a dry afternoon. Top temperature, 14 Celsius, 57 Fahrenheit. That's all for now. We're back in half an hour. Not that far short of 10 to welcome back. Now, does the sight of a marvellously muscled torso send you slinking to the gym? Or are you quite happy getting sand kicked in your face? After she arrived back in Britain this morning aboard the liner Canberra, her disappearance in January sparked a police hunt, but she later turned up on board the luxury liner in Florida. And those are the national and international headlines. It's now 8.32, time for the travel and weather in your area. Hello, I'm Paul Green. These are the early morning headlines in London today. An elderly man died and three people were taken to hospital early today after a fire swept through a three-storey block of flats in Battersea. The victim was found in the bedroom of his ground floor flat in Sheepcote Lane. Detectives believe the blaze may have been started by a stray match. Fire brigade inspectors will begin an investigation later on today into that fire. A keep fit teacher who claimed she'd been abducted is due in court today, accused of wasting police time. Joanna Grenside vanished for 36 hours last December. She had failed to turn up to teach a fitness class at a leisure centre in Harpenden. Her disappearance sparked a major police hunt. She's due to appear before St Albans Magistrates Court. Prostitutes' rights campaigner Lindy Sinclair is back in Southampton today after her trip on the luxury cruise of the Canberra. Miss Sinclair is likely to be interviewed by Sussex Police, who launched a massive search for her earlier this year. The hunt for Miss Sinclair began after her hire car was found abandoned at Beachy Head, East Sussex, a notorious suicide spot. A new group will be launched in London later today, aimed at improving road safety. The organisation Road Peace also plan to offer support to the families of road accident victims. Meanwhile, a group of families who've lost relatives due to careless driving are calling for a change in the law. They'll be marching on Downing Street tomorrow to demand that motorists who kill through careless driving face an automatic ban. 
Now for all the latest travel news in and around London, here's Fiona Farrell as usual at Scotland Yard. Good morning. Well, if you're just about to leave and you're setting off to go onto the North Circular Road, that's very slow moving around Staples Corner at the moment. That's all down to roadworks at the junction of Brentfield Road, queues back to Staples Corner. And also generally slow moving traffic on the A3 London bound towards Putney and Wandsworth. Now looking at the monitors, the A40M, that's not looking too healthy at the moment. There you are, you can see that traffic is starting to queue back towards the Paddington Slip Road. I don't know the reason for that, it's obviously just down to the volume of traffic. If I go along to the next junction, there you are, you can see it is very slow moving heading towards the Euston underpass, but uh, once you actually get there, it's not too bad. Coming in on the A4 Talgarth Road, as per usual, that's its usual slow-moving self. But in central London, around Knightsbridge, it's not too bad. And also, uh, no major problems uh, on any of the bridges. There's Kingston Bridge, which is quite clear. Paul. Thanks, Fiona. Weather-wise, it'll be cloudy this morning with heavy rain early on. Later this afternoon, it'll ease off, but it'll stay cloudy with a few spots of drizzle. That's all for now. I'll be back at 5 to 10. Twenty-five to nine. This is GMTV. A very good morning to you. Some news just in on the sports front. Eight-times champion jockey Peter Scudamore has just announced his retirement.